The spring before his senior year, Javon Solomon had surgery to repair a sports hernia. I couldn't cough, I couldn't sneeze, I couldn't do anything. What he could do was study. A graduate assistant coach made a video of every Solomon pass rush as a junior. I would watch that every single day for hours, hours on end. And um, it got to a point where I just kind of, like me and him sitting down, we just figure out what works and what don't work. And you know what, what worked, we just, we just hit it every day. All that study propelled Solomon to a 16 sack season senior year, most for any D1 player in the country. Yeah, busting in the skies for sure. It also taught him how a smaller guy, six foot one, from a smaller school, Troy, can succeed in the NFL. You don't want to change what got you here. You just want to excel on those things that got you here. Somebody literally holds you in your, when you're born. So you can't do everything alone. So I think I think I would encourage that, you know, to always find that person that can, that wants the best for you. Before Solomon even got to college, he already had someone in his corner, his mom. Dad was never in the picture. So mom had to raise Solomon, his older brother and sister, by herself working at Walmart. When Solomon graduated from Troy and went to the NFL, he posted on Instagram that mom's adversity became his, quote, reason why. She had to work a couple jobs extra. Sometimes she had to stay overnight. Uh, sometimes she couldn't, she couldn't call out of work to, um, to make, a, to make a, a field trip, to do things like that. She went through hardships over and over again and kept prevailing. And that's what football is about, is, is who's going who's gonna to hit a wall and keep going. Solomon says watching his mom taught him more about life than any other experience could, and that's now his motivation. I have a chance to bless her in a, in a dramatic way that can take her life truly to where she deserves to be. Inside the Buffalo Huddle at St. John Fisher, I'm Thad Brown.